Hello everyone, and welcome back to Park Attack. We are on Disaster Peaks, and we are trying something vastly different from before, where we are heavily limiting the area of the park that guests are allowed in at the beginning, in the hopes that this can be quickly cleaned up, and um, then no one will complain once people, of course, get out of the vastly larger parts of the park, which people are still in. We've just started. We're one month in. We are not turning a profit yet, but I think we likely can um, soon. Hopefully. We may need to take out a loan again, but I think that maybe... Are you not paying that much for a steel coaster? Why not? It's worth every penny. Let's calm down. A lot of our rides cannot be ridden in thunderstorms. That's a problem. Um, but a lot of our rides, otherwise, they're shut down. See, I assume people can leave. And then they just can't re-enter. Yes, they can leave. So, I mean, we just need to build the park up to a point where people are happy with it. We're going to get new um, concessions soon, so that'll be exciting. What we should work on is getting another coaster in. Um, so, like, 6,000, 6,000. So, we, get, we got a couple of these that can be built for 6,000. Not that we're going to get there. Given our current profit margin, it being negative. But we're going to get burgers here in a second. Why are there no trash bins up there? I thought I put some there. Clearly I didn't. There you go. So hopefully... Our decor is getting better. Why is it not so good here? Because there's nothing in between? What can they see? Should be nothing. Like, here's the... Okay, there's trash here, so that's part of it. Are people really upset? People are not actually upset about what we're charging. Good. Because we, we really just got to weed everybody out that we can. It sounds bad now, but like we don't have an option. So let's put this guy out here. He'll be good. He'll be... I think these guys can still turn a profit. And so we just need rides to get people to want to come to the park and get people spending their money. Once we've got that, we should be good. We're going to put in a merry-go-round. A merry-go-round's like a classic park opener for us. I think it'll still turn a profit. They're really easy to upkeep. And we just need rides, like, at the beginning, because we have to act like this park is not this big and we don't have these structures. We've just, we've got to believe it. If we believe it, that'll help make it true. Because then we can try and expand. We could try and get, like, out to here or something. We could clean it up. But, like, the decor and what we have opened up should now be much better. Like, see, it's... It's pretty good. Can we just demolish that? No. I guess it makes sense. But, like, this area is much better. Hopefully our ratings are starting to go up. Ooh, 
these people all can get there. Right? Because, like, they can still exit. I've seen people exiting. I wish we could flush people out faster, but... There's just no way to do that. There's so many people back here. Did we finish burgers? Oh, we did. So let's also increase how much people are gonna pay for these things. I remember in the last one we got burgers like all the way up to a full five bucks. We're gonna get drinks next, guys. Don't worry. So how are these guys doing? As long as the green line is above the red line, I am happy. Have not had these ones long enough, but I imagine everything here should be turning us a profit. Like, our profit margin right now is tiny, and I don't like it. In fact, maybe we do absolutely need to get a loan. Um, I don't really want to take more than six. It disappeared. I thought I took it. We'll take this. We'll take the five grand. Actually, I wanted to build a six grand coaster, didn't I? So that was pretty silly of me, if I do say so myself. Okay, we're going to switch this back to thrill rides now. We're going to grab hot drinks. We're going to smack it there. I didn't build any bathrooms. Guys, why do you let me deal with the park? Like, clearly, I shouldn't be trusted. We didn't build any bathrooms. I highly doubt any of these can be built so inexpensively. Like, it's just too much. Yeah, six. Six grand seems pretty common. I didn't even I didn't even look to see if we had a log flume. We do. It rains here a lot and is cold. I'm not sure that this is the correct um the correct way for us to go. I'd build this one if I could afford it. Can't quite. Still got people, like, do we need signs telling you to leave? It's very annoying that they have not picked up on this message faster, but they haven't, so we can't do anything about it. We already have all of our thrill rides built. We've got two uh, non-thrill rides. I mean, I just need another cheap roller coaster. But this is the only one we've got. We've already built it. But are, we're barely under profit, so maybe if we just build one more thing. We've got bumper boats, log flume, paddle boats. Like, we could build a log flume. That's not at all what I wanted. Like, don't give me that. <laughs> like, how do I some of these without it? Like, 3,000. You're the same one. Three.
you're a very complex one. But you're the simple one. There we go. Oh, we're turning a profit again. Yay! That makes me very happy. So let's a go. I imagine we can ask that much for it, and we can run an advertisement also. For maybe three months? Yeah. For our new River Rapids ride, or River Log Flume, whatever we're going to call it. So how are we doing? Um, I can't get to the park exit. This path is really disgusting. The park entrance fee is a good deal, yeah. I agree, the park entrance fee is a very good deal. Pay five dollars now to come in. So, I mean, even breaking even is not the worst thing. Oof. Ferris wheel probably had a thunderstorm. So, we have our food and our drinks. We've just helped make the park this much smaller. These guys are just chilling. Instead of leaving. Did it say I could pick them up? This would take forever, but we could actually hand clear out the back of the park. That sounds awful. Like, actually disgusting. But... Some people seem incapable of finding the exit on their own, so... How's our decor doing in this area? Pretty good. Like, see, we cleaned it up. So now we just gotta, you know, keep it that way. We can build teacups fully underground. Don't know if that's really what we want slash need. But as long as teacups can turn a profit, I'm not too concerned. Uh, okay, I wasn't the smartest here. Oh, I, I can pull. I can pull this back. It's fine. We're fine. I'm just gonna get rid of both of those. Topple Tower, available now. Yay, thanks. Just like that. Voila. I don't want testing. We don't need to test teacups. Alright. So people are enjoying Carousel. People are enjoying Ferris Wheel. In fact, people think Ferris Wheel could cost a little bit more. What about Rhine River? People are enjoying Rhine River. Our one roller coaster, people are enjoying it. I mean, it looks like people are enjoying the park all around. Which is exactly what we need to hear and see and feel. We could just build a pier out into the middle of the water. We could also just try and build a thing across to help people get out. And then just have another no entry sign. Then we could build on the water. It might be the best thing to do. trying to think though, like critically about it. What's our new thrill ride? Topple Tower. We can barely afford it. Which is not when you should, you know, normally be purchasing things. What if I demolished this? And we just built, like how much would that cost?
Not as much as it could have, in all honesty. So let's put that there, and then, like, let's get another sign, because we have to be careful. Just nobody go past there. Like, people are already crossing. And this opens up a ton of area for us to build in, which I think is really good for us long term. Because then we don't need to worry about getting quite so hectically crazy. Alright. How is this location already occupied? Okay. I guess it swings to the side, right? And it can't hit that. Can't the Ferris wheel. So I'd love to build this. I would love, love, love to. Don't quite have enough money. <laughs> Can I build it over here if I turn it? No. So we can build it here. Just as soon as we get the money. There we go. Who needs more money? It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like it's up above. There's a shortage in rides parts, that's not good. Alright, come on, give us a couple extra bucks. I need some money, I want to make this longer. It'll do. Let's go. Open up a new ride, charge a lot of money for it. Oh, we have no money again. So now we're in December year one, but I think we're in general doing a little bit better. I'm hoping that we will get to one of the rewards that gives us money, and that's how we'll pay off our loan debts. I have large hopes. I don't know how close we are. We should probably look while we're waiting on some money. So overall park cleanliness is going up. Um, overall park rating is also going up. So experiences are not going up that fast. So we really need um, either experiences to be 70 or we need cleanliness rating of 80. Which means we have got to get the people out of the back area of the park. And I think maybe we're finally starting to. Um, we also need benches and um, trash cans here along this really long route that we've got people walking. So I'm going to put those in when I have the cash. I don't. I literally have no money. So, do I see people back here still? Inverted double swing. I think we may have cleared almost everybody, if not actually everybody, out. So this should mean our rating should be going up. Everybody should be having a better time. Um, people think the park entrance fee is a good deal, and that's all the thoughts that they're having. Guys, maybe we've made it. That might be a little bit of overkill on the park entrance fee. But we did just open a new ride. So we just need a, that overall, was it an overall? No, it was a cleanliness rating, right? Yeah, cleanliness will get us eight grand. That'll pay off our debt. So as long as we can do that, then we need the 750 guests. 
that's going to be much more difficult. But experiences are jumping up too, so I mean, maybe we just got to play this one really close to the chest. No one's riding our roller coaster. Our only roller coaster, guys. And no one's riding it. See, I wish we could move stuff. Now might be the time to move stuff. But, like, nothing was turning a profit. And that's just no good at all. Oh, hey, look, we have more park rating of 75. That's awesome. And that seems like a great way to end this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.